Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Frey, and I'm bringing you this awesome gameplay today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It is a 76 and 10 FAL gameplay. Of course, I believe it's single fire. I am using quick draw and red dot from the looks of it. I, I love using quick draw. I'm also using dual mag from the looks of it as well. Uh, again, I love quick draw. I gotta run with it in almost all my weapons because that split second that you chop off from actually scoping in really helps, especially with an assault rifle that of course is single fire so definitely recommend this attachment um, if you have a good trigger finger I definitely definitely recommend any single fire weapon because trigger fingers on single fire weapons whew, no challenge there you are a beast so I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay it definitely is a change of pace compared to my last gameplay which was a 58 and 3 or 58 and 2 with the KSG I mean granted it was a pretty nice gameplay uh, it was really cool with a shotgun that I managed to go 53 and no for at, at one point but of course I didn't play the objective very much and our team of course lost however as you can see right here we're losing now but around the second round we actually take the lead and win by at least 50 points I believe and I did play the objective I had quite a bit of captures probably the second most captures in the game which was quite a bit and I had a lot of defense so I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay and uh, feel free to check out others if you want to. So, uh, moving on to the actual topic here, which is Call of Duty Ghosts getting dedicated servers on every console and every platform. Is that gonna, If that's going to happen, that'll be awesome. But, so far, we've only gotten revealed details that Ghosts will, in fact, have dedicated servers on Xbox One and PC. Nothing's really been confirmed about PlayStation and Xbox 360, and of course no one really talks about the Wii U in these articles, which is unfortunately uh, something that occurs. But yes, uh, from the article here, uh, where is it? Mark Rubin, the community manager for Infinity Ward, not Robert Bowling anymore, unfortunately. Um, he confirmed that dedicated servers on PC will exist, which is nothing really new there, uh, as well as would have dedicated servers on Xbox using cloud-powered servers, I think, using Xbox Live Cloud. Unfortunately, he wouldn't reveal anything about the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, or Xbox 360. You know, of course, not the Wii U, unfortunately. And so, that's what we're left thinking. Even even if the other consoles, even if the other platforms end up getting the actual dedicated servers, will we get left out? I mean, can you really even imagine dedicated servers on the Wii U? With the current amount of players, I don't foresee any reason why Infinity Ward, being the developer that they are, being the developer that never created a Wii U game, would even bother having that implemented. Of course, Treyarch is in fact being uh, is in fact the developer that's creating or porting the Infinity Ward version to the Wii U as they have done to every single Infinity Ward title that's come out for the Nintendo console. Again, like I stated, it's unfortunate that Infinity Ward doesn't develop for the Wii U or in any Nintendo consoles and I'm totally not sure why, but however it is somewhat fortunate that we have our own dedicated Wii team that actually puts effort into creating the game for us. So, needless to say, it's kind of a bittersweet situation we have however of course we get left out still we get separated we have of course many people talking about these consoles dedicated servers I mean this article has it this is a title dedicated servers confirmed for PlayStation uh, PlayStation 1 Xbox one and PC but what about PlayStation and Xbox 360 question mark and no mention of Nintendo consoles uh, of course, there's never really any mention of Nintendo consoles when it comes to Call of Duty, which I feel is really unfortunate. We've never get anything mentioned, really. Back when it was on Wii, of course, I mean, I don't think people want to see trailers of the new Call of Duty with the Wii graphics. I personally love the Wii graphics, though, because even though they were obviously not high definition, the lower texture resolution, everything just looking a lot more plain, felt, felt like it pleased my eyes more. I, I don't know what to say, but it just, you know, everything was so minimal. I really liked it. It looked nice. You know, better graphics aren't bad, but, you know, I, I felt like we had its own style, and its style was poor poor graphics. I, th I liked it. I liked those graphics. 
I wish they would offer a setting so you can turn down the graphics on Wii U. I really would like that, especially since you know with everything so cluttered on in HD maps and these maps, uh, everything's so cluttered it's difficult to see enemies. But if everything's a lot more plain, it's fairly easier to see. I mean, I would love to see some anti-aliased Wii. Uh, graphics. Basically, I want to see Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops and Reflex and World at War that came out for Wii on Wii U, but with NA aliasing, meaning actually having AA on consoles. And, I mean, you're not using the HD textures or anything, you're just having solid, not ragged, uh, jagged character models and maps. They're all very solid, defined lines, just, you know, minimal use of textures and everything. I would love to see that, because I, I like it. Anyways, I'm really leading astray here from the actual topic. So, of course, he mentioned that they were uh, including dedicated servers for these two consoles or platforms, but they didn't mention anything else. Of course, they never mentioned the Wii U. And from the looks of it, they are also reworking their whole entire matchmaking process, as apparently they discovered after many years of developing the online for Call of Duty, uh, they never really realized this happened so finally I guess they realized this and apparently the way the matchmaking processes worked was dependent on the internet service provider meaning if the internet if your ISP stated that you lived here whether you lived there or not is completely irrelevant if en if your internet service provider said you're there as far as Infinity Ward or I, I probably Treyarch is concerned that's where you live so, it led to a lot of crap connections, as stated by multiple quotes here. Um, so, that was definitely a challenge, and I definitely noticed I would play with friends, and I would be lagging out, and my connection would be probably equivalent to my friends, and somehow, even though they live close to me, they either lag or don't lag, or I lag, or they lag, or, you know, lag everywhere. Never really explained, but supposedly, they've reworked it, so now... It doesn't. It's not really based based on uh, the distance between uh, uh, the actual physical distance in the real world. Say it's no longer a connection whether you're in Spain and Italy, or America and Canada, or Mexico and Germany. You know, it's not really based on physical distance in the real world. It's now based on internet distance, uh, which I'm not totally sure what exactly that means. But yeah, that's apparently their new strategy to reworking uh, lag compensation in Call of Duty. So whether or not we get dedicated servers and whether or not we just get this newer upgraded connection uh, method will be yet to be seen. I really hope we get dedicated servers though. It's definitely, I mean, we, we, got, we got to get that at least. Really, we're not getting DLC from the looks of it. And of course, with dedicated servers means bunch of awesome stuff if it's anything like dedicated servers on pc you got mods and all that stuff i don't expect it but it'd be nice to see and of course it's definitely something if considering we're not getting most things and of course uh they did mention that probably all next gen consoles would get dedicated servers and it wouldn't be only limited to pc and xbox one however that will be yet to be seen of course wii u is usually excluded as a next gen console for whatever reason but again we just have to wait and see. I just want to inform you guys on this situation here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome gameplay. And I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. And uh, I hope you guys liked the video. Thank you for watching.